Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Macker. Today we're going to talk about Alicia Spagaro's comments about Jorge Martin and Peko Benyaya in their battle for the World Championship. So firstly, he started talking about Ducati and saying, it really depends on what is going to happen with Ducati. If they want a satellite rider to win the championship or if they want the full factory bike to win the World Championship. He also said, that for him, Martin has more speed and more potential. But at the moment, Peko is the better rider because of the number on his bike and it says number one in the championship. Then he said, for me, in terms of speed, Jorge Martin is faster. The first thing he had to do was find his consistency. He is finding it now and now he will have to continue to improve his speed as well. He is a very talented rider very fast and for me he's the rider who can fight for the title however he said he has the same bike but not the same team as Peko, but the same bike but we will have to see how Ducati will handle the situation if it wants a private satellite team to win the title let's see how they behave now for me it's kind of strange that LA should come out and say this now I do know that he's really good friends with Jorge Martin off the track. But again, you know, when you do look at Jorge Martin, he is very quick. He has amazing lean angle hanging off that Ducati. Some of the pictures that you would see from him are completely epic. Yes, he does have a problem with his consistency, but the last few races he has been particularly good, let's just call it. Is he a challenger to Peko? You betcha he is a challenger to Peko. So is Besecki, though, do you know what I mean? So I think it's not just Martin going to battle for the championship. Now, I also do find it funny where there's kind of a narrative here where he's kind of saying, you know, Ducati will show favoritism towards Peko. And Domenicali actually came out and said about this. He's like, if they're fighting another brand and a Ducati bike doesn't have to necessarily be Peko is in that battle or leading that battle, then they will try and look at enforcing team orders to help maximize the potential for Ducati to win the championship. However, though, if it was two Ducati riders or three Ducati riders, then there would be no team orders or favoritism shown. You know, they can fight it out on track without any interference from the pit wall. And for me, I think that's a fairly level headed. Is it going to happen? I don't know. I don't think the Ducati factory would want a satellite bike to beat them. I think there'd be more of an issue with Biseki beating the other factory bikes because that would be a 22 beating a 23 So I think that would maybe cause an issue. But again, I don't know. I do think there is going to be a hell of a battle between Peko, Basecki and Jorge Martin for the rest of the season. But I'd definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of Alicia Spagro's comments? Is it just bigging up his friend or is there some truth to the accusations that he's making? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.